As I stood there, my mind raced with confusion and uncertainty. My best friend Jerry and I had just experienced something unimaginable. We had ventured into a peculiar mall, only to be confronted by an otherworldly force that had transformed Jerry into Tina, a stunning woman who seemed to revel in her newfound identity. Jerry, now Tina, had just revealed her unexpected affection for this transformation. She spoke of feeling pretty, sexy, happy, and confident. Her words were a revelation, a stark contrast to the Jerry I had known for years. I struggled to process the situation. But Tom, I stammered, still clinging to the name I had known Jerry by for so long. It's Tina now, she replied, her voice oozing with confidence. And from what I can see, you have two options. I listened intently, my heart racing. This surreal situation was spiraling into uncharted territory. We've always been best friends, Jerry, Tina continued, her seductive smile never leaving her face. And well, honestly, you're looking real good to me right now. We can get out of here, go home, and be more than just friends. Or. I was hanging on her every word, my mind in turmoil. Or what? I finally managed to utter. We can stay best friends, Tina whispered into my ear, her tone dripping with allure. Don't you want to feel beautiful, pretty? I know you'll love it too. Being a woman is the best feeling in the world. My thoughts swirled in a maelstrom of confusion and desire. I had always considered myself a straight man, but this bizarre situation was challenging my understanding of identity and attraction. But, I, I stammered again, my words failing me. Tina took my hand, and her touch sent shivers down my spine. Come on, we'll find you a cute little outfit, she said excitedly, leading me back toward the mall. As we walked, I couldn't help but wonder if this was an opportunity for me, a chance to embrace a new life and explore aspects of myself I had never considered. Tom did seem happier as Tina, and maybe, just maybe, I would too. With each step, the uncertainty in my heart warred with the intrigue of the unknown. The mall loomed ahead, a place that had already altered our lives in profound ways. What lay ahead was a mystery, but one thing was certain, Jerry and Tina, or whatever we would become, were about to embark on a journey unlike any other. Inside the mall, the air was charged with an otherworldly energy, as if it held the secrets of transformation itself. Tina guided me to a clothing store, where a dazzling array of outfits awaited. It was a sea of colors, fabrics, and styles that I had never contemplated wearing before. Tina's enthusiasm was infectious. Jerry, we're going to find you something fabulous. She exclaimed, her excitement palpable. She began sifting through racks of clothes, her eyes scanning for the perfect ensemble. As she held up a stylish dress, she grinned at me. How about this one? It'll look stunning on you. I hesitated, my old self still clinging to the remnants of my previous identity. But the prospect of this newfound adventure and the allure of embracing a different side of myself tugged at my curiosity. Okay, I replied, my voice trembling with a mix of apprehension and excitement. Let's give it a try. Tina's smile widened, and she handed me the dress. She then led me to a fitting room, where I nervously began to change. As I slipped into the unfamiliar fabric, I couldn't help but notice the subtle shift in how I felt. The dress clung to my body differently than any outfit I had ever worn, and it was strangely empowering. Tina peeked into the fitting room, her eyes lighting up. Wow, Jerry, you look incredible. I glanced at my reflection in the mirror, and to my surprise, I couldn't deny the transformation. My features seemed softer, more delicate, and in a strange way, I felt a newfound sense of confidence. We spent hours in that store, trying on various outfits and experimenting with makeup. With each new look, I ventured further into uncharted territory, shedding my old self and embracing the possibilities of this unexpected journey. Eventually, we emerged from the store, two completely different people than when we had entered. The mall was closing for the night, and as we walked towards the exit, I couldn't help but feel a mix of excitement and trepidation about what the future held. Tina took my hand, her smile warm and reassuring. Jerry, or should I say, your new name. What would you like to be called now? I pondered the question for a moment, and then with a newfound sense of certainty, I replied, call me. 
Jenny. Tina grinned, her approval evident. Jenny it is, then. Welcome to a new chapter in our lives, my dear friend. As we stepped out of the mall, the world felt different. We were no longer just Jerry and Tina, we were Jenny and Tina, ready to embrace a future filled with endless possibilities and a bond that transcended the boundaries of gender. The mall had transformed us in ways we could never have imagined, and we were determined to make the most of this extraordinary journey together. In the days that followed, Tina and I fully embraced our new identities. It was a whirlwind of shopping trips, makeup tutorials, and late-night conversations about our experiences and feelings. We discovered that this transformation had opened up a world of possibilities we had never considered before. For Tina, her newfound femininity was a revelation. She reveled in her femininity, embracing it with a zest for life that was infectious. She taught me the art of makeup and how to carry myself with grace and confidence. Under her guidance, I began to feel not just comfortable but beautiful in my own skin. Our friendship deepened in ways we could have never predicted. We shared secrets, dreams, and desires that we had never discussed before. We laughed, we cried, and we supported each other through the challenges and joys of our new lives. As Jenny, I found myself exploring aspects of myself I had long suppressed. I discovered a love for fashion, a passion for self-expression, and a sense of freedom I had never known. The world seemed to open up to us in ways we had never imagined, and our bond grew stronger with each passing day. But it wasn't always easy. We faced judgment and prejudice from some who couldn't understand our transformation. Yet, we also encountered acceptance and support from unexpected quarters. Our families, though initially taken aback, eventually came to accept and love us for who we had become. Over time, Jenny and Tina became more than just friends, we became sisters in this extraordinary journey of self-discovery. We stood by each other's side through the highs and lows, knowing that we were each other's greatest allies. One day, as we sat together in a park, enjoying the warmth of the sun on our faces, Tina looked at me with a smile. You know, Jenny, this transformation might have been the most unexpected thing that ever happened to us, but I wouldn't change it for the world. It's made us stronger, more authentic, and brought us closer than ever. I nodded in agreement, grateful for the remarkable twist of fate that had brought us here. You're right, Tina. It's taught us that identity is fluid, and the most important thing is to be true to ourselves. And so, our journey continued, filled with adventures, laughter, and the unwavering support of each other. We had learned that in the face of the unexpected, the most beautiful transformations could occur, and we were ready to embrace whatever the future held for Jenny and Tina, the best of friends in this extraordinary and unpredictable world.